Hello, I am Jeremy Waterbury, the admissions counselor here at Southeast Health College of Nursing and Health Sciences. And today I have Dr. David Heflin with me. He is our Diagnostic Medical Sonography Program Director. And so we wanted to introduce you to the program, tell you about it, and then how to be, um, how to be an applicant to the program as well. So, um, David, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. Would Appreciate you mind it. telling us about your program? The Diagnostic Medical Sonography Program is really the newest program that we have here at the college. Okay. So what are students in this program? What are they going to learn? Well, they're going to learn about uh, sound physics. So, again, if, you're, if you like physics, it's, you're going to be in good shape. But sound physics, we're also going to do some to really what to expect in the hospital environment with uh, where they'll be going and actually doing their clinicals. At the very first semester, they'll actually actually spend more time in the classroom and then the lab. So we'll be getting them ready to actually be able to perform ultrasounds in a very safe environment in our lab. They'll also be going over some of the requirements as far as learning about anatomy, understanding what they might see using the sound that we use with ultrasound. And then once we get past that first semester, they'll be very much more in the clinical setting. So we have a lot of hospitals and clinical sites where the students will spend time. They'll actually be performing exams either under, well, under supervision for sure of sonographer, but either by themselves or, or assisting with that. Um, three to four days uh, a week during those second, third, and fourth semesters. Now you mentioned it's an 18 month program. Mm -hmm. So like when does it start and kind of what does a rough schedule of the program look like? So we start in the fall. So generally speaking, you're gonna start right around that first week of August here at the college. But the class time and the, and the actual laboratory time is pretty much Monday through Thursday, probably eight to four. And again, it'll vary day to day. It'll, it'll vary based on you know the course itself. And as we work through that first semester, after fall break, will actually on Fridays have the students going out into the clinic. So they'll actually spend one day, basically for about seven to eight weeks in the clinic. It's a way to introduce them to what to expect. Mm -hmm. Then as we move into that second semester, they'll spend three days in the clinic and then we'll have two days in the classroom and with lab. And again, we're just reinforcing what they're learning, helping them gain some more knowledge on what they're seeing. Then in the summer, they'll spend four days in clinic and then we're actually gonna get them ready to review for a board exam. So there are several exams they need to take in order to become a sonographer and the program is designed to help them prepare for that as well. Their last semester will be with a vascular emphasis, so looking at carotids and arteries and veins in the body, but then we're also helping them prepare for abdomen and the OBGYN board. So really by the time the student is done with our program, we hope to have them ready and they're going to pass that board exam in vascular, abdomen, small parts, and OBGYN. So who would be a good sonographer? Somebody who's interested, what would make them be a good fit for this I program? I like that question because it's really anyone. Um, we really want somebody who has an attitude of wanting to help someone. So if you're somebody who's really interested in helping others, that's really probably the number one criteria. Um, we have students who are male. We have students who are female. We have students who are young right out of high school. We'll have students who are you know, going on a second or third career. Um, and I think the beauty of ultrasound is, is that there's a place for everyone. Jeremy, I, I, one of the questions everyone asks us is, is well, how's the employment? It's really good. There's such a demand right now for sonographers just in this area, but also nationally and within the state of Missouri. So there is a lot of opportunity to, to really make a difference in your life as being a sonographer and really making something happen that is going to impact your family. Awesome. Yeah. That's fantastic. So if any of you are interested in this program, you can apply right on our website, sehcollege.edu. You can click on the admissions tab and follow the link to apply now. 